Namaste, good evening, and welcome to the Festival of Bharat and Chitti Media. Joining us today is a very eminent guest. Uh, he's an honorary distinguished professor in uh, ISRO. He has made major contribution to various aspects of uh, management of science, technology, and innovation. And for the contribution that he's done to this sector, the government of India awarded him with the Padma Shri in 2012. And he also happens to be one of the closest associates to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who worked with him at that point of time. Uh, and he also co-authored a very, very successful book with him, which we have grown up reading as kids. Dr. Vyas Rajan, uh, thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Namaste. First of all, let me take a minute to thank you and convey my pranams to you for all the seva that you have done to this country, sir. So thank you so much. My pranam to all of you. So let me begin by asking you the first question. What was it like working with uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam? Are there any anecdotes that you can share with our viewers? Yeah, see, I started my program uh, rather than my work or research scholar. My age 20, actually, record-wise, it will be 21 after MSc. Joined for a PhD with Vikram Sarabhai's group in the PRL. Physical Research Laboratory in Ahmedabad. Cosmic rays. You know, today, people talk about the Parker probe, which is going in and going to touch the sun. In those days, it was not even records or not, but they were all will be theoretical done by that Parker, Yugen Parker. It, that right. type of thing, what happens to those rays. That was my job. That is what I was going to do. But Dr. Kalam used to come. Of course, because this one was uh, Sarabhai, it will be face to face almost daily. That's the, that is the greatest inspiration which put me there, even though my mind was going around so many things in those days, including possibly a politics and everything. But okay. my, my, my thing which anchored was Sarabhai. Right. He gave the challenge, what can be done for the country? 600,000 villages, you have, uh, those type of things. Dr. Kalam used to come. I am a research scholar. I know I am very inquisitive, so I will I ask where this payload and all that payload. Tumba, his job was only to launch the rocket. He was not making rocket. Right. Sarabhai used to beg, borrow, get, get those things. The scientist in PRL will put those payloads. Each payload will be different. That is to study ionosphere. I will not explain every detail of it. Before all this FM radio and all came, people were enjoying AM radio only. Limited right. problems. But even now that is useful, that depends upon ionosphere, means which is above the earth, 70 kilometers, 100 kilometers, and all that, that very important. In fact, once upon a time, All India Radio was used to be a master in using that thing. That requires to know so many things, so many science unknown is there, so those payloads will be done. So he used to come often. His job was, you know, the rocket, you see something called nose cone. On the top of it, they will have all right. thing has to have because that is penetrating the atmosphere, whether it is a small fellow or a big fellow. Right. So in that, the payloads have to be fitted in. Kalam's job was to see that these things are done and you should not touch. It is not just a tight fit because when it is vibration, it should, if it goes and touch the payload, it will be finished. Right, right. So these things have to be a dynamic envelope and all that thing are there involved. So his job will be, will be coming often to see that the scientists don't delay the payload. So this is what he used to come to Ahmedabad almost monthly basis. And we'll talk to many people. Unlike so many other, his job was only this engineering detail said, you leave it account. But he will be inquisitive. Okay. What is this? I said, what is, what is that uh, Shastri doing? Magnetometer. Why he is asking me no metal? Why um, Satya Prakash wants that? But I used to know everything, even though it, it is not necessary for me as a PhD student. Right. I have to work on mine. So I used to explain to him, so we'll be talking, then much of it we'll be talking in Tamil also, then in between exchange. That's how 65 something approximately the date will be. Then later, I myself quit the PhD program. There's a long chat with Sarabhai after which it was done. So right. Sarabhai told me, don't leave, I'll put you as an engineer. So I joined that those, those days there was no ISRO. It was called Indian Committee, yeah. National Committee for Space Research, etc. So I joined as an engineer. 
then i have to put for all these scientist fellows you go there where is the rocket suppose i am taking an observation from the ground then i know exactly what i am looking for now this is moving all the time so it is position everything has to be very clearly known that right. is called radar transponder it comes from the military technology identify friend or foe so that was my job that was my first developmental work so we used to go very often to turls to get it tested the number of them where they have to pass it kalams group has to so that developed another one but later i used to also come across uh, in isro i was so this thing i can't give only pick only dr kalam there is one vasant govarikar who made india today they are saying bahubali and all that solid he did it from the scratch right with americans and everybody don't give technology even russians won't give technology right there was a muthunayagam propulsion like this there are people so it is that which started then when he became slv3 etc i was a board member and other things it thickened somehow there seems to be something like this it's very 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 nice but yes actually later part people see him very nice smiling and all that he yeah, used to be a yeah. tough project manager Achha, but okay. he used to take care of people if right. you are not tough you can't be a project manager right you can't be being goody goody nice nice because he has to see the schedule he has to do this samadhana bear the danda all that have to be used right that's what it is and it seems like there was already a tamil domination in your team right early on in this row no not at all is that so because some of the prominent names that we see are from tamil nadu so at least that's the perception no, no, that no, 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 not not exactly that. not correct because people see dr kalam came ara yeah. udan came but let us see sarabhai is not tamil vasan govarikar is not tamil dr sc gupta they were all vasan govarikar sc gupta were very top people right. don't know outside that's all in right. fact those days we used to have people even from assam hmm Assam Engineering College, one Bansal, this one Mathur, so Dr. Rane, he was responsible for all computer. Right. Then the other thing is, uh, uh, in fact, jokingly one can say Atomic Energy Commission wants used to be only lingo was uh, Gujarati because Baba, Sarabhai, and I G Patel. Right. So, but then Yashpal, Brahm Prakash. Daman, it's not uh, this thing. Then later you will find lot of people from Kerala. Ah, correct. Uh, there are also people from Karnataka. Hmm. Right. So there are so many. Raja Ram Nagappa, solid propellant. He is one of the one of the heroes. Right. So we had from all over the country. Right. And what what got you into this field in the first place? Because if today kids are inspired. it's because many of you heroes have set a certain precedent for us we have a lot of people to look up to but back in the day you know at the very nascent stage of our uh, space program it was very difficult so how did you even get into this entire sphere i have explained it a little bit in my uh, lecture to iit uh, madras for right. february 2020 my tries with science and technology in india okay very recently for one of the group in vaisag i think uh, school they wanted sarabhai 20 so this one etc there so no point in talking about sarabhai i knew him i saw him like this he wore this pajama <laughs> that told him what is he relevant for you right. i talked to the young people is he relevant or not relevant mm -hmm. that is where i advise them don't only think of space mm -hmm. many children because they will see me they will see, here ke dr kalam and space 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 i said there are so many new industries that are coming in so right. many new technology try to think of that why i am giving this preamble is this is what it is in 1960s nobody knew hmm. even the professors and elite and other thing uh, 1957 when the russians did 57 our indian press did it media did it more because in those days they were more anti us right therefore they will think that to oh, the soviet union we are, we are all thrilled that soviet union gave a challenge to america because america also was 
uh, in those days screwing around India in number of things. Correct. It's a historical fact. That's why I'm telling you. Yes. Even though at personal level, there are a lot of friends. NASA, Sarabhai had friends with NASA. That is why we had all the scientific experiment. They gave equipment. It's a very, very complex situation. But in mm -hmm. that, nobody knew. 1963, 1962, almost end in Kospar was on paper formed under the physical research laboratory. Mm -hmm. 63, end November, somewhere, the first Nike Apache given by Americans is a uh, so phased out missile that right. went up. It was reported in a small slip. Nobody knew. Okay. So it is that, but Sarah by saw that it has a future. Now, coming now to OES Rajan, I used to be known as Vais Sundar Rajan in those days. Hmm. It became afterwards, it became going to US and all fellows were finding Sundara, so <laughs> many bubbles, Sundara, ar, 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 ar. even in Bombay, they were finding problem, but uh, this was a problem. <laughs> so I went, you know, very interestingly, you will be surprised. It's a fact, I'm not, not telling any, this thing. I was in Bombay, Atomic Energy is there. Hmm. Okay, by that time, it is a mature organization, 10, 15 years old. They were taking people, and that to MSc, I was taking MSc physics, electronic. I would have just gone in there, trading school, be there. But it has already become almost 1,000, 2,000 people. Right. I used to, my brother-in-law, that is my elder sister's uh, husband, he said, why not, uh, he was very proud that I was doing science, so he used to call, call me to Chembur. Chembur is the place where it's very near the bark atomic energy, many of these young fellows, they were all bachelors. So they will be, will be introducing them. I, we will go for lunch. You know, he, he was also a bachelor until he got married, but it was fixed earlier. Therefore, he will say, come, 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 come. Mm -hmm. So while we were eating, those fellows say, oh, where is it? What is it you are going to do? All that. Then I, this much small slip was the uh, PRL's advertisement. I showed them. Uh -huh. Hey, it's good. Go there. Because for the first time, some person has seen something novel in this country. In those days, 250 rupees was the monthly allowance for a PhD scholar. That's a maximum fixed by UGC and all that. This man has given 300. And right. that only second year, 325. Third year, 350. These people told, see, this man is something different. Hmm. So go there. You don't know what it is. Physical research laboratory written by research scholars. That's all. It's the first time they have also. You know, then what they say added. Here, mm -hmm. don't come. You will easily get it. <laughs> but if you come there, do you know what it is? He said, this guy is JSO. I am SSO. Like that he showed. Do you mean what it is? I don't know. Actually, it meant senior scientific officer. I knew much later. Okay. You know what they said? He's a junior sleeping officer. <laughs> I'm a senior sleeping officer. He said that they recruited too many people, saturated. Right. So they will start curbing afterwards. And mm -hmm. what that man told, I don't even remember his name. It will become a problem for you. Better go here. This seems to be, this man seems to be something very different from others. He thinks differently. He thinks of people. That's what made me to apply to that place. Right. I got 200 applicants. It was a tough interview. Uh, I got it. Six or seven people only were invited. Right. It is that I got it. And so I, I would say it is God's grace. So what I told the people is, hmm. you can't, most of people say, oh, you think of it and then go this direction, that direction. All that are bunk up. Right. You can have something foresight what is coming. Right. And then I advise young people, don't go to items which have become very well known. For example, Israel is so known so well now. Mm. You will become a cog in the wheel. Right. Even though it may be exciting, there are so many industries coming around. It. People can go. I'm not saying no deriding of it. Just like aircraft. Very really challenging one, but a lot of new technologies. But you will be one small this thing. Whereas if it is something new, ISRO was a startup 
use modern language, lingo. It was a startup by Sarabhai at that time. But he had a foresight that it will be there. And that vision, that one to serve India. For me, that was the thing. That's when I said even politics and all. I said, yeah. how to serve the people of India? He mm. put into our mind 600,000 villages if you want to reach by communication, TV, developmental messages. It can be done only by satellite. Right. You can't put like put cables and uh, you will have you will require 500 towers, TV towers, connecting cables. Mm. Very costly. This one was a possibility, not proven anywhere. In fact, it was satellite instructional television was the first major experiment which broadcast to the village. Broadcasting to village is a challenge. You can't put an engineer who will be having a servo mechanism which will be looking at the antenna like that, etc. It is a chicken mesh antenna. I won't get into all the details of technical thing. Why it is to be so? Because it's very simple. If you have a normal antenna, big birds will come and <laughs> sit on it. Then it will create its own problem. You have to clean. Here, the mesh which is there, it'll, see, even to these details, you have to go through. It is very normal. Right. So this challenge picked me up. So right. that only looking at cosmic rays and all was not exciting. Because I would have gone to a narrow channel. Even though it is uh -huh. very good. I loved astrophysics. You can park it for me as a hero. Because that book complete, I can calculate all the transcendental equations and other things. So when right. I heard that Eugene Parker, fortunately, is still alive. Hmm. Though I like Chandrasekhar's books, magneto hydrodynamics, all that I like. I used to read all that thing, including politics, uh, philosophy, and all that stuff. But this one was a challenge in which you are. That is the ground level. Right. So my advice to young people also is, see something which is foresight like that. Keep two, three options. Where nothing one will not click. Right. That, that's what it is. And uh, you also got to write the book with uh, Dr. Kalam. And um, this was a huge thing for growing up because we as kids, you know, in school, we, every, I think every single friend of mine has read this book. There's not a single person who's not read this. And it sort of set a benchmark that, you know, this is what India needs to be or India can be in a few years time. And of course, we are one year past the vision 2020. What is your assessment as to what India has achieved and what do you think we should have as a goal going forward? Okay. Thanks. I think you told about the book. I think it electrified a lot of people in English and also it has come about 15, 20 Indian languages. And now I find that it has even come in Arabic. Oh, is it? Okay. In Arabic it has come and I got a few copies. Then it has come in Japanese. Wow. Quite a few foreign countries also there. But the main point about it, I want to emphasize, it is not just a brainchild of Kalam and uh, O.S. Rajan sitting and dreaming. Hmm. We had about 5,000 experts in different sectors giving inputs. We had about 17 sectors. In that, there will be six, seven people will be dedicated to the sector. They can form subcommittees. Then they will write to people, about 15,000, they wrote about 500, that making questionnaire is very important. Right. I, I, I advise many young people also, they ask all sorts of questions. How did you like, how did you like, what did Dr. Kalam like, hey, Baba, what is it for you? So you have to ask the right questions to get the right answers. What is it? It's not enough to say what all can be done. Hmm. Not enough to say what are all problems. So. A lot of work, consultancy work and think work, scenario writing. It's a very complex one which I explained there briefly. So that one was done over a period of two years, 94 and 95. I was the executive director for TIFAC. Council wanted six months. I said, no way. Okay. Then it will be a hodgepodge work of many reports which come. Committee right. meeting, oh, oh, look good, nice. Here we did. We wanted those inputs, then they will do. And some of them, we have gone Delphi two times in the health mm. center. So those people, chairpersons have done a fantastic job, plus the committee. It was a love of labor for them. We didn't pay them anything. Uh, except that who are from the academic sector and all, they won't have their own money to travel. They alone will be given the travel reimbursement and all. Even the industry people, they say, hey, Baba, what is it? You travel and come. 
So mm. that is what it was done. So that work I found twenty-five volumes, about two fifty to three hundred. Okay. That is released August ninety-six. Then we tried. Many people said it was reported. It is coming. Dr. Kalam is speaking many places. People wanted to do. We were selling this. It's a very nominal cost, but we don't want to give anything free because people take it and throw it away. <laughs> yeah. Buy. So we made a deliberate policy. Buy. Right. And but they found it. There were a lot of technical details. Hmm. We tried a summary. It becomes too small. Hmm. Doesn't give anything. It'll be like a, a journalist report for for about uh, two columns. Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, Dr. Kalam referred to many fellows, many people. Uh, yes, sir, Dr. Sir, 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 sir. We want to write. I have spent at least six, seven of them, hmm. showing everything that will waste two days time. Afterwards, they won't appear. Yeah. So it's a very enormous job of doing those things and putting it together. Then Dr. Kalam in Tamil, we often talk in Tamil. Now, Madam, Panna went there. Come, Bolike. He said that means we only have to do sit and do. Hmm. So we started. So bulk of the work is we will talk and then I will write those things. This is beyond the office hours. Um, I had left DST, so I was working for CII. Right. So I had to do that also. I was taking care of typing also. I used to write, send it off to Sheridan, who will type it in. Beyond office, I was taking in his laptop. Sheridan is Dr. Kalam's PA, right. and he will show it to him. He has some suggestions, etc., etc. That is how it came. So that book is the one which truly reflects what can be done, seeing the ground realities. It is not just a push and push and oh, you do this, do this, etc. We have said certain items. We say, don't do it because you are lost out. So you jump the path. All that are there now. Coming to what, what is the status? Dr. Kalam and myself have itself written a book, a book called Beyond 2020: A Peep into India's Future. Right. It is also by Penguin. Okay. In fact, a last serious book by Dr. Kalam. Sad to say, we didn't know that. Is that uh, October 2014? It came. Hmm. Came out. Dr. Kalam was so happy. There we have given a very good critique about how India missed in the past. Right. See, for example, electronics. Now, government has struggled. 1970, the Department of Electronics had completely strangulated anything on. So it's a it's a fact. Right. So like this, what was lost? 91 when they opened up in many technological areas, we were backward. I knew it. Because of our work of Taiwan, mm -hmm. so all this has given to say, not to critique people, but to say that you have missed these opportunities. Then how go beyond? Now I am coming back to this. What is achieved? I have given a very brief talk. That is the one which is one of the briefest talk. On mm -hmm. uh, this is by young students in Siddha Ganga Institute. Okay, Tumkur. Only mm -hmm. Tumkur. Those guys themselves caught hold of me. Before everybody else, in December itself, I, they made a TEDx TEDx talk, 20-25 okay. minutes. I said, "Good news, not so good news, and way forward." That's all it is. I say, "Good news." Mm -hmm. Good news is there are areas in which, like telecom and all, we never even foreseen this. Mm -hmm. All the experts could not believe that it would go this much. Right. Because you should remember. 94, 95. When we completed, India's opening up was not all that clear. Mm -hmm. Telecom sector was not yet opened up. There are many things which are not opened up. So therefore, what will be the demand? You don't know because right. in fact, telephones, uh, this thing, waiting list of five years, so nobody will apply. Yeah, for a so trunk call. You can't say what is the demand. The demand you can't find out. Yeah. So, like this, but it went leaps and bounds. Then. Agriculture, not bad at all, but not the three fifty four. But they have done it quite well all over in variety of areas. Mm -hmm. Then, IT these sectors also we did not uh, expect it so much right. to be, and therefore the but.
good to us is we have talked about atm we have talked about all that when nobody will be able to go to a, one bank to another bank same this one to branch you can't transfer money in those days you will check oh that is that bank it will take two days sir but we said all these are possible but it has come so much even before covid all that have come so so well so these are all the very positive thing and pharma sector Hmm. Great. That is approximately we in research, but they have done great. They have started exporting. They do so many things. There are so many instruments for it, etc. Then the other side of it is where it was not so good news is that manufacturing sector. Hmm. Yeah. Steel, etc., etc. What all can be done? We are done, and then we are also told what should be done. The steps, roads. you took watch by nhia decision mm. so many years were lost correct then it took and then in between it went very slow after he went away but still those roads were there but along with that we have supported the missionaries we have reported on the missionaries today you go all these missionaries are imported mm. you will find an indian name some this one comes is do something like that will be there but actually they are all assembled and done here mm-hmm. what we operate is operator and things like that these are the therefore and then even in electronic sector everything this is not the way we wanted right so therefore now it is pinchy that you don't have the supply chain they say what is it Mm. you can't be indefinitely because this is partly this economist also have to be played mm. the you respect to all the great economists oh mm. this way you open up uh, comparative advantages and all that stuff comparative advantages come when you become very developed country not when you you don't have your own technologies you have to build up strength and then indian population is strong not everybody is even now when they say knowledge economy your whole it sector will employ only 5% of the knowledge force right workforce not one large workforce bulk of them are 70% of our children don't go to go beyond 5 mm. so what do they do they will all be doing so you have to transition all of them into skills and so many things right. so therefore you will require a bulk of manufacturing similarly agriculture modernization has to be done otherwise having keep on pride saying that 66% is in agriculture is a very bad thing you see the most undeveloped country in terms of no industries etc 80% india itself was there 80% of the workforce was in agriculture actually many of them don't have land even even now right whatever this agitation etc they have taken a political color but mm. Uh, the thing is, fact of the matter is, about eighty percent of our farmers don't have even two acres of land, not hectares, two acres of land. Most of them are having one acre, point four. That's average. With that, you can't survive. So you can't just put technology beyond the point. It will require some aggregation. So these support systems didn't come. So then we will see what farmer, for example. electronics you can't jump into being like a korea or taiwan it took 30 40 years hmm. but many of my writing other than india 2020 empowering indians and quite a few books which i have written hmm. as to how to do the details which i have written we should have gone into that uh, see there is some some very good books people who have done east asia i have quoted them in the book uh, uh, those people very good very studied book i even having the my library here Just said, you require almost a twenty years long. Samsung, LG, any one of them. Samsung, many of the Korean industries, electronics in 1970 was worse than India, which was making the National Echo such big radio. They were worse than that. But you get assembly technology, then you go to this thing. You go a little bit more. You go a little bit more. At the same time, you start putting R and D. Mm-hmm. for a new one. that is a slog almost for all these countries which have really become good whether it is israel even japan post war right taiwan singapore 
Thailand, even Malaysia, that will be 20 years long. That is what we should have covered. People want to easy, oh, you buy it, it is cheap. I know many people in the chemical sector are all by product. Many young fellows who have had their own acquired technologies. So that was a negative point. Hopefully with this Atman Arbor, they will work it. It's a tough job because in those days, WTO stranglehold is not there. Right. Now WTO will come on many things, mm -hmm. including on agriculture. Right. Uh, 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 because these things, so they are a little tough, but we have to face it. Still, our book concludes, we have done a, quite a bit of work. Because I, I, unlike that earlier time, we didn't have to struggle because uh, uh, there is a lot of data available, but provided one critically looks at it. Mm -hmm. So I collected many of them. That is what it is. And many new emerging areas in which India should jump. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean the front line. Some of them will be normal sectors. Right. Cost effective, this thing, etc., etc. They are listed in one of the chapters there. Right. So right. that will give you what can be done. If that is done by 2035, 20, 20, mm -hmm. much of this gap will be reduced. Then only we can say that we have become technologically otherwise Atmanirbhar. Right. We will definitely put the link of the book in our description when we publish the video. And also it's a growing concern, especially if you look at the trajectory with which China is growing. Now it has become some sort of competition between the two, especially after uh, the relations have uh, sort of, you know, uh, taken a hit in the last few weeks. So in that sense, uh, do you think there is a spirit of competition that is increasing in the people? Because there is so there is uh, we live in such a tough neighborhood. See, people like us, you knew technologically, and I also knew about a lot of space. Therefore, I know a lot of strategic sector. Our space was our space was not only peace, peace, peace. Even though we didn't do anything military, we knew what all can be done. Because the same thing is used for something else. I do for agricultural feed that is used for surveillance okay mm -hmm. then other areas of technology i came to know when i went to type back in some more detail let me tell you since you asked about china we have seen the countries that country also had laid out a vision approximately for that much years right. details were available we have we have looked at everybody because one should not be reinventing the think at, but those fellows meticulously did that at the mm -hmm. time when we started the 20, even though they have opened it up, etc., they were technologically, industrially around 95, somewhat similar to India. Right. You look at data, somewhat similar okay. to India. Correct. Then they steadily worked, 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 worked. I can't use some language in public. They worked their thing off, grind, ground it, and then did it. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So that is what they have achieved, and they were very clear in the goal. Mm -hmm. They didn't want anybody, they want to become number one. Right. Middle kingdom. Yeah. So they knew it is the technology which gives the strength. So they mastered the technology, self-reliance, and they, they in fact they had more sanctions on the space than what India. India also had a lot of sanctions, but their sanction was very bad. But still they worked on it and then did it. Whereas here we have a hit and start. In technology, you can't do a, 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 a two years this thing, then your policy change, one government change, one this change, one bureaucrat change, one scientist himself says, oh, we will do something else. You have to have a steady path. And you can correct it only for technical reasons or for some market reasons, not for any other idiosyncrasies. This we don't have. This is our biggest problem is going to be. Okay. There is no question of competition now. Hmm. They are way ahead. Right. In, in, a, in a marathon, uh, I am uh, I am not even there. They have done, uh, somebody has done about 10. I am still in the third round. Hmm. You can't call it a, uh, oh. you can't call it a competition, right. but it can be in mind that we also want to reach like that, at least possible for India. 
because of its size, because of its diversity, because of the resources, because of the human capabilities. I will not tell only the IITs and the uh, great fellows, even our lower most fellows, they adapt so fast. You see the way they have adapted, the fellows who don't know English, who don't know anything, etc. They adopted to many of these. Had yeah. they been given a proper skill without being what they, have, they were suffocated. Oh, do this, do this, do Shakespeare in English, do your yeah. Ramanujam mathematics, and the fellow drops out. Right. So, so if we take care of that, we can do. That is the potential. But right. having said it, now I am 76 completed. Mm. For about 56 years, nine, 20 years when Sarabhai fired in us the vision what can be done, we did it there. Mm -hmm. Small, this thing. After that, promise to performance in India is low. Right. Very bad. Promise very high, perform very low. Mm -hmm. This is not, I'm not telling only politicians. People will try to take only politicians. Everywhere. Our right. SMT sectors and everything. Mm -hmm. Even some of our uh, so-called social sciences, we are nowhere near. Right. Anything where we can be proud of and then say, well, we did something. And yeah. much more yeah. so in basic research. Even though they talk, there's nothing after C.V. Raman. Mm -hmm. Saha. We keep on telling them only. Right. Even anything where, where we say that Okay, this was done by an Indian. Venkat yeah. uh, does a Nobel Prize. That fellow at the BSc left off. Mm -hmm. And he was rejected for medical. So, yeah. these are the things which we need to address. Right. Then only, that we, you have to say competition by words is no good. Mm -hmm. Competition by deed. Actions, right. Very beautiful, you said. You know, I want to ask you one question that perhaps you've not been asked or asked, I'm not sure, but your grandfather was a very well-renowned uh, Vedic scholar. And, uh, you know, ha have any teachings from the Vedas uh, influenced your work or uh, the projects that you did or uh, generally the way you approach science and technology? Okay. Now, it is not directly from the teachings of the Vedas. My, as, as you rightly said, my grandfather is a uh, Gana particle. That means they have to study for, I think, about 8 or 10, 12 years or so, and equivalent teaching they will have to do. Then only this Gana party is given. Okay. Uh, it is not just that uh, you can put a title. And strictly, the title cannot be inherited. Yeah. It has to be earned. It is to be earned and it goes with him. That is the convention. Even though some people nowadays put Shastri, <laughs> Dikshadar and all that. Dikshadar also, was, his father was a Dikshadar. He ah. has done seven Yajnas. Though our house was not orthodox. Okay. Now I will tell you what the thing is. My grandfather is not a Vedic. He has taught some. But that gives you some sort of inner resonance. Some little... Uh, thing, Purusha Suktam, some Sandhya Vatanam and all that thing. And they also tell a little bit of meaning. But in addition to him, his elder son who brought me up, that is my father's elder brother, who was childless, therefore of my mother died, was brought him. And he was, a, he was not formally educated, but he was very good in Sanskrit and everything. So he has given a lot of slokas. They will tell the meaning. Now I will come one most important thing which I learned from my grandfather, which I realized only now at that time we did not. We were in the village, unelectrified village from Bombay after my mother died, we were transported there. After six o'clock and all, it will be dark. Nothing is there. So yeah. he will take us in a small cot in which he will sit. Some days moon will be there, some days it will not be there, cloud, etc. Myself and my elder sister, he has told the, I, I nowadays think uh, had the magnetic tape had been there, technology. Four years in the village life, my age five, the nine, he has told Ramayana and Mahabharata every day. And it will come to your peak. With these serial, modern serials, these fellows cannot even beat him. 
he will bring me a peak. Then both me and my sister, ta 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 ta. Please, please, please. Nala ke that is tomorrow. Tomorrow again the same time. Now I realize you learn to live with that tension. Hmm. It is given for four years. Later I. When I read Ramayana and Mahabharata and all, this old man has done so well. Verbat him to the thing. He didn't have a book, nothing. Right. Okay. These are a few things. Then, mm -hmm. in addition, for me, Indian tradition. Yes, for me, Indian tradition is very deep rooted in me. Not only just by these things alone, because when I went, then we moved to Palayagotai. When I was nine, I took Shiraput Tamil, special Tamil. Unlike a normal Brahmin family, they will take a Sanskrit because not for anything else. In SSLC, they get a lot of marks. That is why fellows are taking. It's true, even now. So everywhere, therefore, they will take Sanskrit. Many others poor chaps cannot take. So yeah. I took special Tamil again, a stupid decision in terms of SSLC. Uh. But I learned the two years. I learned so much from it that. Teacher, I could learn a lot of poetry, the Tamil literature poetry, especially the Bhakti songs are superb in Tamil. In addition, Subramanian Bharati got into my thing around the age of ten. You read Subramanian Bharati, and it is so easily understandable. So this thing, you don't have to be a great singer. There is a rhythm there, everything there. There he tells about the modern science and technology. Very remarkable. Right. Nineteen uh, written in nineteen ten. His poems are all mostly from nineteen ten to nineteen twenty. Okay. When he was in Puducherry. Mm -hmm. But those things I got that book even now. It cost six rupees in nineteen fifty. Uh, uh, what is it? Fifty six, fifty 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 five. Yeah. Lot of money. We didn't have much money. But still, I. Insisted, and that's the only time where I got it from a, this one. That one is all the uh, culture, Indian culture. Is I am sure that it will be available in Canada. It will be available similarly. If not a Subramanian Bharati, somebody else will be there. Okay. okay. So that one is not only directly from the Vedas. Many of these people have absorbed and then tell it many scientific facts. If I start doing on it, I can do for two hours without anything. Extempore, I can do. Manika Vasaka, Tirvasakam, Tirupavai, this month they will do that thing, what, what she says. And Bharati has given the wide spectrum. He has dealt with politics, he has dealt with, he has even praised Belgium, which fought the, uh, which resisted the uh, Manazis. Right. Germans. And that he will tell with a beautiful metaphor of Tamil, just as the uh, the, the tribal girl, woman, she will use the, you know, what they do, the chalni for uh -huh. right. She yeah. fights with that and then drives away uh, uh, this one, the tiger. So uh -huh. these type of things which are there and they give the highest one. And Bharati is insisting upon this and then later Vivekananda. Uh -huh. He also believed in. So that put in me that you can do something great for the country through science and technology, which is coming. But it's all vague. How it will be done? It will be. The, but he has given a lot of details. I recently spoke to Sagit Academy, the 100th year of his, uh, this thing, death, they celebrated. That is in English. So there I got, got that this thing was, that one into a, put into a practical form was done by Become Sarabhai. But this drew me into science. So therefore, I went into science, even though I wanted to become a poet and all that stuff. There I found that the Tamil teacher, poor chap, will not even have a proper chapel. So that I knew that I had to get into this. Then that is how I got into Bombay in science. Then when I got into science, still it didn't have a meaning, but they think it can be done. Then the political leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru and also science, technology and all, they were telling. But nothing. But it is the true meaning in a concrete term was given by Vikram Sarabhai, age of 20. Right. So, but the, therefore, the Indian culture, hmm. Indian knowledge is very deeply ingrained in me. Right. 
but it is in my form but i don't swerve from science mm-hmm. that's also equally good now i find there's actually an integration it is all a continuum right. that is for a, some other t- time i can talk sure. so yeah. our especially our uh, the way when you said about the vedas upanishads all these things including the buddhist and the jainist and all that all indic religions something great they are remarkably as carl sagan has told even the number of years yuga and all that thing nobody has touched no thinker has touched that much level of right. rises of numbers which seem to be approximately tallying with most mm-hmm. of the cosmology today right i mean this is the general great thinkers right? they are direct thinkers at least in the west they think that most of the scientists have to be atheist because you know religion is against science but uh, for india and bharat it is completely different because we were always rooted in science in some or the other manner i uh, i tell you on this i have spoken even in the empowering indians i have written even now when they came to scientific culture see unfortunately how those fellows i won't totally blame them because you have to look at the european context yeah yeah galileo was there are so many uh, right. scientists who were massacred tortured for right. science whereas in, in, in the indian culture all around the upanishad there are rebels you accept the rebel jain religion technically is an atheist it it doesn't recognize a god buddha just leaves it like that but all mm-hmm. these thoughts can be there plus in addition there are so many scientists who are scientists thinkers who come nobody is punished mm-hmm. in fact all these thing which they are telling about lgbt and all that thing vanika vasagar sanje bennagi anagi aliyagi vindeli se vinna mannagi vinnagi etanayum veragi say we are you he is telling about the god pen woman man you know and above that all the earth means he has put all the these things and above that space and above that all lord not there so they had a wide breadth of continuum whereas they had this versus that unfortunately the the, the religion versus this became a fight for them mm-hmm. so it was a survival then the new discoveries of 19th century the machine mm-hmm. is doing it suddenly they realize they have been released so naturally yeah. any nascent thing you become a great messiah bit oh this is the one the end of everything now what happened after the quantum physics 1920 shaken it is not this one so in the indian culture they also accept the gross jata also there is a sukshma right the reality you have to penetrate you have to go through the sukshma those fellows arrived at a different way that's what they have looked at whereas here the sukshma shaken them the whole philosophy of what is matter matter means i been taught i know but then it became atom itself you have a problem then you know electron so now you are already getting into a quantum field but i am not saying that what was said in the indian classic other thing for all accurate detail you hmm. require this also yeah gnanam as cha vigyanam both they will say practical one will be the gnanam vigyanam is you have to directly receive this hmm. I, i about get into all the detail there so indian culture did not whether it is bhagavad gita whether it is any of it they did not reject the detail of looking at right. and then doing it separately that is a separate this one that one. it is not holistic everywhere there is also a short doing a this fever what you do this fever what you do that is how they have done all those metals based mathematics and all that at the same time only thing which they do is don't think that that is where the world ends there is hmm. something beyond which you need to realize over a period right so this was missed now unfortunately they have made anti religion as a science, as a ideology which is against science mm. the principle of science is 
you should not now they are finding a lot of problem this should not be done they were refusing certain genetic experiments mm. yeah when yeah. there is a diversity no 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 then you say that you will get into they had a problem that you may get into eugenics they had a problem but that is not a solution solution is not that you deny somebody i want to talk about it mm. if somebody says the, there is a possibility that beyond something then bohr should have been nails bohr should have been told how complex that's how it is you right. have to accept it as such that's what he said right relativity the whole war he introduced a fourth dimension mm. so now it is science is only model now right so in other words i am not saying that do go there or here is mm. a continuum one has to see right and that's have to have a broad mind because the entire indian culture if i can summarize in two words mm. it is syncretic and symbiotic syncretic is very beautiful use some other thing all i am using some of your item i am using some of you are using some of it whereas both of us started initially with the rigid stand up this is my way of doing mm. that's how bulk of what it is will be you can't say that they belong to this religion or that religion in india if you see it right symbiotic is opposites you require an opposite i'll give a very beautiful example of symbiotic crocodiles for them the teeth is their tool mm. the teeth if there is after they eat the meat if there is a too much of something stuck in there is no toothpick for them there is no flossing flosser for them yeah. if that is not cleaned the fellow will can decay you know what they do in between they open their mouth like this mm-hmm. there yeah. are some birds yeah which will go and keep poking it they don't yeah. bite them it also got flesh mm-hmm. it doesn't eat them it does it pokes it and takes it away and goes this mm-hmm. is a symbiotic relation and yeah. i can tell you hundreds of items this accepted by anekanta is the symbiotic opposites right very beautiful in, so you it, it is true of this was accepted as a part of the culture right this key where it is understood then we will have peace in the world right but it's not easy right till that time we have to think uh, otherwise also yes what do you do all those things yes there is an enemy this is to be done all that has to be done there all these two has to exist but to have saying that i i i am an atheist therefore i became a scientist is nonsense right I, i have no doubt on that right at the same time i respect them their view point correct let them hold on to it and uh, they are not going to go further they will be deceiving themselves right wonderful what's your view of commercialization of space travel uh, in the near future because that is what is being discussed especially with all these billionaires uh, doing the space race um and you know how how do you think it will evolve in the future especially because space travel is becoming commercially viable whether it is for experimentation or even for commercial reasons for that matter see if you look at any start from industrial revolution even i can even go back before pre industrial revolution many techno see india best known is for wood steel woods w o o t z somewhere in the deccan plateau they have done it much more okay it comes from the word uhu that uhu is a steel india was a master in it and you know where it was exported even though it is other uses it was exported for damascus swords okay india had only the technology then in bad british fellows have come and other thing later they have had all the carbon steel which you use for shaving and other things they are all from that so why i am telling about this it came because the technology was commercialized to sell to military fellow now if you look at post industrialization if you create a lot of it you require investment you can't put a steel plant out of the like this 
Mansi Tung's backyard furnaces all fired out. Now they got some of the best steel plants in the world. So you need investments. You need money. When you do money, uh, the world has experimented. There was a time when even I thought at my young age was that that uh, there is a centralized one system. You plan and then do the plan factory. And that thing which the Soviet Union did, but it collapsed. The economy collapsed before. That is why the later the country has to collapse. So you have to allow this so-called animal spirits to do. That's what Chinese realized. They allowed a lot of these things under some control. Each one may follow some other item. So what I am saying is, if there is no angle for commercialization, it cannot aggregate money. Right. It can't create that much type of investments. Mm. That is why NASA had to stop off this and other things, etc. Right. When these fellows have made money, you look at many of these fellows who have made money. They have made money in IT sector, not in space. Mm. The space was very controlled. NASA won't allow this one. India won't allow that yeah. one. Everything like that. Then they found when these fellows, one of the great decision America took was allowed to uh, SpaceX to function. Right. So that fellow put his own money. He didn't take a, a, a subsidy from NASA. He only told, when I do it, I will prove it for you. Then you pay me this much. Mm. So that aggregated. And then plus also, over a period, communication, this one, that one, etc., etc., whether it is for military use or whether it is for private use or whatever it is, these things show that you can make a lot of money. Right. When, there is, when somebody can see a lot of money, they will go there. Now we're coming back to commercialization space for going up there. And also if privatization as well. Huh? And also it's privatization. It is, see, earlier it was on a subcontract basis. Hmm. NASA will subcontract. So they say industries, they develop. Yeah. If it is not privatized, that is the reason I told you all that. If they were not privatized, if under control, there will not be several, only NASA thought. In fact, SpaceX has broken all the methods of NASA. Right. See, see, NASA said that ESL, the expendable launch vehicle, has spent about might have spent about hundred billion dollars. Nothing came. You do it, etc. This fellow went into something very different. If it is a NASA system, see any system which grows, as I was explaining in the beginning, in the beginning part of the thing. Space, nobody disturbed because nobody knew what the hell was going on. Now, ISRO, if you want to introduce a new thought, it will go through various committees. Same thing with NASA. So now outside, this will have my money. I say, why do you worry? I will do it. You want to follow the uh, this one that it won't hit the aircraft. All that, I, I am ready to do that. I will follow the notification and other things. But this goes and comes. You did a completely expendable vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Now fellows are doing now rocket lab. They are using composites. Mm. All these would have been 15 committees would have come. Yeah. Okay. It happens not only because it is government. You know, tomorrow, say 15 years from now, if SpaceX becomes a regular company, IPO listed and all that stuff. I tell you, it may start putting so many committees. So this is a continual renewal process. So this privatization helps many fellows to experiment. It is with their money. Right. And, and speaking of that, it will be commercialization. Hmm. And only a few fellows you know, coming back to the space travel. Hmm. Now you can't afford. Many cannot hmm. afford. But these fellows have got money to burn. Right. They go for it. They go for here. They, they go and purchase a yacht. They go and purchase an island, but instead of that, they are going. Yeah. They don't mind taking the risk of dying. Mm. So it is only with that it can come. So it is a positive development according to me. Mm. Uh, it will come. They will stabilize. After some time, there may be some problems. Yeah. So when the problems come, there will be some regulatory systems. Let it come. Yeah. But if we regulate, we are already tight turned. NASA, that is why it could not uh, do space shuttle had to be closed down. Right. So it was not at all cost effective. 
Hmm. Now these fellows are spending how many? Duk 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 duk. Daily, if I start keeping yeah. a count, daily some ten satellites are going. Yeah. Okay. Right. So these innovations are possible when many people come. Right. And then they will aggregate. Yeah. They will aggregate. You see, biotech startup in nineties mm. in US itself was something like ten thousand or so. Okay. And same thing with uh, these are all small, small swallows. You can come people will talk. And some many of them will be killed. Mm. Killed in dies variety of reasons. Yeah. Then some five six giants will come. You look at everything. Uh, how many are telecom in the world? Which are the big ones? Ericsson like this. Every four or five. Yeah. Aerospace, same. Aeronautics, same. Right. Space, they will aggregate. Then they will say, "Oh, monopoly, monopoly, etc." Then they will try to split it. See these these fellows. There are so many uh, platforms which came. Google, some some few fellows have done. How they come is very difficult. No, no management expert can tell it a priori. So it will come. Right. They will compete. Some will die. Some will aggregate. so i don't see much of a problem right and already there are talks of mars being colonized uh, which is going around uh, right now uh, what time frame would you give this idea to and do you think it's a realistic idea uh, uh, see it will take place but i said personally i don't like the word colonies colonized right yeah it's a very you know, i don't like the word colonies because we have all suffered as colonies correct yeah but unfortunately politically politically all the fellows who colonized were not politicians first they were all commercial east india company dutch company this company that company then the governments coming okay right. now if you look at antarctica treaty many don't talk about it now antarctica treaty there was a exclusive club of 14 or so something on that number it is a great thing by indira gandhi uh, who saw what the earlier regimes have done of losing out on npt that is all the lero lost out on npt so moralistic everybody supported him I mean, i wish not be only one to say but everybody supported him we are high moral stand etc we lost it is not p5 we would have been p6 we could have done it so we suffered all the denial regime because of that so she said in antarctica it is not taking place she called dr kasim said only one and a half year was left go do whatever the scientific experiments will do to qualify to put it okay so therefore what those fellows will do we don't know tomorrow antarctica may become a prop area in which lot of either oil available some other available or energy sources available or satellite communication channels can be put in the they have some exclusive right over others okay it is not a human heritage we were all trying to put moon is a human heritage all interplanetary system is human space is a human heritage nothing is human heritage is only on paper finally those who have got power will do that is the reason chinese are getting it i would prefer a word habitat rather than colonization uh, habitat habitats are going to take place and those who have put in before will be the fellows who will have access so people like india we are i don't think we have all those other technologies to go and do it we have got elements of it whatever isro has done it has done a fine job but it was not its mandate and neither because i said what i said before if that manufacturing sector this one that one all that have come our economy would have grown very fast right then we would have created the surplus to put it in these we didn't have now we are trying to do it we will achieve some day but the initial period probably india might have to find out some strategic partners that is india will have something very good with other fellow will not have as i told you the symbiotic and uh, uh, syncretic uh, type of uh, association Yeah. some fellow doesn't have very good on all mechanical and other things of software we prefer go and put it this is the way we can be into the field chinese are going to almost i think are going to go along they already done it for moon right they will do it for mars 
and uh, even moon may become the initial place where we will they put right more of an exper experimentation no 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 it may become an interim place okay many things can be done right because of not having an atmosphere is is negative point but mm. it is nearby yeah and you can put in lot of modules solar modules this that and all many manufacturing can be done on from that they can transport there are all possibilities I, i won't try to say that this is going to be the path because right. those engineers who will do at that time cost economics and all so in the meanwhile now my time frame you asked for it is very difficult to speculate uh, because even this uh, commercialization of space with the private parties uh, has come about too fast mm -hmm. i thought that maybe little later yeah it come about very fast so minimum it will take two decades but that doesn't mean the fellows won't land will not do something make a small habitat will try to manufacture something etc etc but to go on a regular basis like elon musk says i will go and come and come back something like that but that may take around 2025 in within a quarter century yeah. some of it those who are very young those who are uh, five six and all that thing now or 10 mm. they may really see they may get excited that the thing is coming right. and maybe another 20 25 years many fellows can go and do just as a mm. first class passenger will be extra cost etc etc yes. in that there is one important psychological factor has to be taken into account there was a very beautiful article i had a copy somewhere mm -hmm. that man has is a lawyer i think but he has seen all the nasa team and records and other thing see aircraft is there don't we have air crashes yeah it is supposed to be a mature technology right everything taken care every every time you get down and then do and then how much we give uh, aircraft passenger a uh, uh, remuneration for any death will mm -hmm. be some amount of insurance is there so he has calculated all that but for space we don't accept zero defect mm -hmm. nobody should die everybody will shout they will close down but in spite of it there were accidents therefore he has calculated this much risk you will not accept right of death that is one of those commercialized flight may bomb out right you do it compensated by insurance rather than closing it down mm. okay these are the type of new systems which will come they do come so that when it takes place fellows will start going for sure it may not be when i am around but uh, it, it is going to come right uh, india by that time if we have done our things well we mm. would also be or maybe a jv we will be doing with somebody etc etc we will also be going there to uh, mars etc and then do something some of the younger fellows will have some exciting thing but people have to have the pot full of money to pay for it right see the uh, see the charges which they are making yeah, yeah. then it will become common right well um, future seems to be very interesting and uh, we can't wait and watch what's in line for us but thank you so much for joining us today it was lovely having a conversation with you uh, all the knowledge and the wisdom that you shared uh, i'm sure our audience will find it very interesting again once again before concluding thank you for all the seva that you've done for this country and uh, namaste sir namaste 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 we hope you enjoyed this chitti media content please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar